the avatar, how are we going to draw these? So the avatar, when you look at it, it's actually pretty similar to the text box, right? We've got a whole bunch of shapes, uh, all in different colors that we're drawing one on top of the other, top of the other. With the added problem of this image that needs to kind of draw both on top and inside uh, of this shape at the same time. It's maybe more obvious if I reduce the opacity here just a little bit, and you can see that bottom edge. We're going to need to clip that somehow. Well, let's start working on this. We've got our avatar and our text box. I'm probably going to want to put both of them inside of a row like this, and we'll push that to an emulator. What does it look like? Not bad. The image I'm going to place inside of a box, and here we'll do exactly what we're doing for the text box again, where we're saying draw behind. Here are all of my different shapes. Great. To actually get this masking to happen, let's look at the kind of shape that we want to use. And so for a second here, I'm just going to like define this as another outline and use a lovely magenta color here for debug purposes. It gives you an idea of how we want to clip this shape. What's neat about the outline API is it's not just for drawing, it's also for clipping. Uh, so we can pass this to this clip modifier, and so long as it's the last one in the chain, that means that everything inside of the box is going to be clipped to this, but all of the other calls prior to clip won't be clipped. So we get this exact effect that we want. 